Welcome to the first episode of YouTube's most subpar talk show, The Nobleman Show. With your host, Noble. All right, so we're starting off the interview now. So real quick, let's talk about Sneedclave. And you guys, before we get into that, uh, let's let you guys, you know, introduce y- yourselves. So to, you know, the audience, so they know who you guys are. Uh, I'm Wank. Uh, my name is Pablo Diego Jose Trastamara, but uh, some know me as Gracier. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about in this video is that in my original video that I made recently, I got a few things wrong, especially that uh, Sneedclave lore and where it started. So first off, the Rad Posters were co-opting your guys' name in their own posts, and you guys wanted to set the record straight and separate yourselves from the Rad Posters. So... I'll just let you guys speak on that. Well, we were the red posters were made way uh, way uh, after us. We were made like in I don't know what was it 2021. It was 2021. Like right? Yeah, and uh, it was around the release, or actually not just around, right at the release of Frontier when we were made. Okay, so let's go let's go into that. So how did you guys officially start? So we have the, the Frontier. <laughs> That's a funny the, story. The Frontier mod came out, and there was a lot of backlash. Um, yeah, so on the first day of the threads, right? Yes. Um, we were all in the Discord, and I was just trolling in the chat. People uh, people were going crazy in the chat. People started, started getting banned. So I said, okay, um, I'm going to make a server. People DM me, add me. I'll add you to that server. And then instantly in like a, a few hours or so, it's like 200 people are in that server. Everyone's going crazy. The Discord is being shared on the thread. It's being shared in YouTube comments. People are sharing it everywhere, and we're just growing. And it grew to like 600 people. And then we got banned the next day. Um, Sky, if you want to continue. Yeah, I was there for one glorious night for six of the greatest hours of my life. It was amazing. The worst memes. We said the dumbest shit. And then I woke (laughs) up the next morning, and it was. Gone like a fart in the wind. Gone. Angel's kiss. So, disappeared. Gone. 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 Disappeared. So what was your main uh, problem with the Frontier and the people running it? What was your main problem? <laughs> well if, – If I might say for a second, the thing um, I wanted to say that I think we kind of like flubbed in the last video, a lot of it wasn't even like what was in the mod, although that did play a huge part and that probably would have happened anyway. But I think – uh, and I said it before. I think the frontier wasn't killed by what was in the game, but by their da- like their abysmal damage control. The fact that like if you go to their Discord at all and say anything about it, permanently banned. You're a troll. You're a, you're a chud. You get removed from the server. You get called an asshole. Any YouTuber made a video out of it, they they'd like you know call him an asshole and be like, John, subscribe from him right now. They put that yeah. in like the, the dev chat. Yeah. So that was along with yeah. the yonder dev level f- ban gating. It didn't help that they had said all those political things in their yeah. streams, like Enclave is for Nazis and Trump supporters and shit like that. So you just general stuff like that. So your pushback against the mod the mod team was because of their incredible amount of you know of of oh, their overreach when it came to sending a political message and how they basically kept themselves in an echo chamber to continue that like mindset without any like opposing voices. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'd say it was part. something like that. I mean, <laughs> I, I think, I mean, I mean, honestly, it's kind of making a mountain out of a molehill. If you really want the truth, I think it's just because they were assholes. I think that's really the best yeah. way to put it. Just, they yeah, were hey, hey, yeah, yeah not, they didn't help with Zoo. It didn't help with that Zoo. This that didn't, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that too, obviously, but I feel like that you know, goes without saying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's how you guys started, and that's your, y'all's genesis. So yeah. what happened afterwards? Did y'all continue to harass, like not harass, but like troll the hell out of the mod team? Did y'all expand to what y'all, like what, what was like Seedclave's um, mission like right after its inception? Well, uh, we had around, we, yeah, just pure chaos. We had around 400 people after the first ban. And that was quite impressive. Our, our longest standing server, one of our longest. And, um, we had a shit ton of people, a lot of people that were really funny and now they're gone because of all the bands. But yeah. Um, and for the most part, we kind of just bummed around a little. We had a little stunt with their Reddit. That was pretty funny. I'll let Sky. Oh, that that yeah. Story. Yeah. So, um, so a couple of the guys I met on V, 
because everyone came from V. That was like a big thing. I came from a YouTube yeah. comment, but it was I from K V and on. like it was like V uh, because, and and, VRPG and by the way, that was because um, Frontier devs were going around shilling the mod and then saying like it's gonna be perfect, it's gonna be great. You guys are idiots if you don't like it. Which I do remember know. it being like a very hyped up event. Like, oh, yeah. very, 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 um, very. I'm only human after all. <laughs> I'm only human. Anyway, um, so what happened was, um, we we started going through the mod list because like the entire mod. The, 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 keep in mind this uh, the subreddit was like nine years old because this mod had been in development since like New Vegas was made. It, it, it ridiculous development. I'm out of time. time. I'm out. Um, yeah. So so the, so like most of the mods, if not all of them, except for TG Spy, were like completely inactive. So we just started going through the list. Um, and like asking like, you know, who, um, you know, like, Hey, can we, can we have like mod? And one of them was just like, yeah, sure. Kid, here you go. They threw us the car keys. And, uh, so for one week, we are reign of terror and evil and our like dark armies and, 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 and war bands marched all, all over the subreddit. Um, and I have the greatest screenshot of all time of TG Spy, like, banging at the castle gates, like, why was I banned from my own subreddit? Can you please let me back in? Um, <laughs> this part always kills me. <laughs> <laughs> this part always kills me so hard until I say it. <laughs> oh, man. So your whole thing was mostly just causing as much chaos as possible to those in the modding community who were, like, assholes and cringe. I think he yeah. – oh. Wait, you didn't finish your part where you like what the message was that you sent him. Oh yeah, no, I sent him back like like I'm like, <laughs> well, um, TG Spy, we feel that like right now you are a little bit too um like like a, of a hot topic for the community. We think it is best that we distance like ourselves from like a super corporatized response. The classic that, like, Reddit moderator. Fucking, yeah, like, like literally, yeah, literally, like, that's one hundred percent. That's what we did. That's what I, that's what we did. I was in. It's I was. So we were literally funny. in like a call. Like like like. Like scientifically creating this thing to be as douchey as possible. Just I remember I was off. there. I was there, and it was so I was laughing my fucking head off the whole time. Oh god, what a memory! <laughs> Actually, <Yeah. laughs> um, so um, after uh, okay, so, so after that, um, yeah, we just kind of fucked around for a bit. We kept making. I think I don't even remember if we did an attempt on a few things. I know we just kept making memes of fucking with them on like Twitter and whatever. And then I think, but it, but it petered off. It would like yeah. it, after like the petered first off. like raids of their Discord. It definitely was like I, I think I think the subreddit thing was the last like big frontier thing that really that really happened for a while. And after that, it'd just be like like random suicide bombers going into their Discord, and just saying Sneed and getting insta banned by the uh, by the moderator. <laughs> our, mar- our holy martyrs, yeah, our the holy Sneed martyrs. The martyrs, yeah. <laughs> they got their twenty one virgins. <laughs> yeah, that's not going in the video. That's um, okay. That is definitely going. All right. So, all right. So, I had to ask because I'm I was privy to a little bit of information that you guys had beef with both TKS Mantis and uh, Schizo Elijah. So, real quick, let's go over each one individually. First, let's go over uh, Schizo Elijah. What? Wait, didn't the TK one happen first? Yeah, Actually, let's, let's go. Right. Let's go over which what happened first. TKS Mantis. Let's go over. Okay, TKS yeah, TK. Okay. TKS Mantis. Oh boy, what a fun, what a fun character. So, what um, a so TKS Mantis, self-proclaimed man. Fallout guru. Uh, you know, amazing title to have already. You know, I really have a lot of respect for somebody that calls himself the Fallout Jesus. Like, thank you. Um, uh, so from okay, so when he did the Frontier thing, when he like exposed all the stuff, because he w- he was inside the mod, right? Like he he was not like a developer, but he was a voice actor, not a very good one, from what I understand. But um, he was he was in the mod, and so when you know they, he started seeing all these like you know the the lizard men and like the werewolves, and he's like, this is kind of weird. And then he ended up like distancing himself from the mod, mur- murky reasons. Nobody's really gonna know why, but I mean, you can guess all you want. Uh, anyway, so he was one of the big guys in like organizing his community. I mean, cause like, it wasn't just Sneaklave that f***ed over the frontier. It was like a dozen different like YouTubers communities f***ing with them it was also us and, and you know, all that stuff. TK was a really, really big part. Like one of the biggest, if not the like biggest guy that like blew the whistle. So after the frontier, he was, he was riding high, you know, he's got like the one ring from Lord of the Rings, but it like corrupted him. It turned him evil. He, he became evil and like was corrupted by the dark power. So like he's in also he's also in Fallout 4 New Vegas. And so what happens is one day 
uh, he gets banned suddenly. He goes to his his YouTube account or his community post. And keep in mind, his community is already like rabid. They just f***ed over the frontier. That was that was awesome. That was huge. And they're like, you know, let's do this shit again, right? So when TK comes around and he's like, hey, Fallout 4 New Vegas are employing and they're they're covering for like the the pedophile devs from the frontier. We should you know we should do something about that. You know, with with no context by the way, other than just like source. Trust me, bro. Here's a screenshot from four years ago. Um, Hold on, real quick, real uh, quick, so, real quick. I have to pull back. You said the pedo devs from the frontier. Can you explain that? I explain. Yeah, there was. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean Zoo, okay, Zoo the Scum. There's Zoo a guy the in America who wrote um, underage fan fiction, um, and also, you know, I mean, oh, is this the guy who, who, who had like the he little like secure? He had the secure trial at the very end of. That was Zoo. Yeah, that was Zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoo the Scum. He was. He's yeah, this what? Polish artist, and he made a. Uh, yeah, he, he, had, didn't he, had, he had to flee Poland because he had an arrest warrant. He fled to the UK. Yeah, name? and uh, also he worked for the Octodad Polish yeah. translation, which is weird. I, I found that, that out. Because I, I, I was looking for, yeah, I found it. I yeah. somehow found yeah. out. Um, I can't wait to can't wait to label this uh, this video like uh, Turkey Time with the losers, creeps, pedos. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah well, Turkey Tom's gonna be in the next episode, everyone. By the way, so keep a lookout for. No, that. that's no. Love I did Tom. not say that. Yeah, it's not Turkey Tom. It's not Turkey. Date Tom. me, date me, Tom. All right, continue. Okay. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, okay. So, um, uh, yeah. So that's TK's what he said. TK's man. So in actual, so obviously, you know, Fallout Four New Vegas was pretty big at the time. They just released that one like really cool trailer with the like you always sing dun 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 dun, and they're like you know with the fighting death claws and shit so that was cool so people like it was in the public like you know visage and and so when when tk's coming out and saying like oh yeah you know they're 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 covering for pedophiles that's a big deal this is like right after the frontier so obviously people are already like you know holy shit we got to do something about this one boys so people are getting their torches and pitchforks out and then it starts coming out and they can prove it from the Fallout 4 New Vegas devs that basically what had been happening was TG Spy was getting a little big for his britches over there, one could say. He was like, um, he was going around, he would he would answer dev logs that he had no right to answer. He would confirm content that was not oh. like confirmed to be made. He was um he was uh he would he would answer questions that like he would he would reveal like leaks and stuff that he wasn't allowed to do. He'd answer questions, he'd say he was a developer, he was acting like a mod. And finally, as far as I understand, the Fallout 4 New Vegas devs just decided that they'd had enough. Like the guys they they, they it wasn't worth it, you know. Like he was some like he was he 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 you could tell he was like personally hurt because they referred to him as a small YouTuber and he constantly went over that in his video, like a small for your YouTube video uh you, uh a YouTube channel. I have eighty thousand subs. Guess what, buddy? If you, That's small. Than, if you don't have a silver YouTube play button, you're a small YouTuber. Oh, I can yeah, like, I mean, a very, very I mean, small I mean, YouTuber. 80,000 subs for a Fallout YouTuber is still, like, very, very admirable. That's, like, I mean, shit. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm one to talk, right? I mean, but, if like, you don't get – you shouldn't get butthurt about someone calling you a small YouTuber. Like, oh, yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. So, so, just, like, so they distanced themselves. They whatever. basically, like, 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 you know, like, excommunicated him from, like, the Discord. And he did all that. And he comes out like like you know guns blazing, trying to start more drama over him just getting kicked out because he was an asshole. So um, our so our, a friend of ours named Poman, who's this other YouTuber, um, uh, he he made a video on it and was like, I'm gonna make a, an interview with DK Mantis. TK Mantis backs out in like the last second and says some like like calls him like a what what did he didn't he like call him like a um like a leech or something like he's leeching off the drama some some BS he said something like really haughty and I got like kind of annoyed by it um so I got I so I got our like our our legions of 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 evil and and by legions of evil I mean fifteen guys in the uh in a call and we yeah we attacked his Twitter and it was so funny so we started we started flooding his Twitter. It, it just kind of came first. We were just sending like <laughs> shitty memes, and then and then this like golden goose idea hit me in the head. <laughs> this, this was the time that the uh, the uh, the you know like tensions between Israel and Palestine were like flaring up. So we tried, we started making this like caricature that TKS meant is like an orthodox like Muslim imam calling <laughs> calling like for for jihad against fallout. So we started like editing his face into like photos of like the Taliban and like he had that image of him like where he's like like got the like the the Fallout Four or the Fallout New Vegas like uh, Ranger armor and we're like editing that 
into the background of like how <laughs> soldiers speak American like munitions toms. And I remember <laughs> the whole like, time. Yeah. It was so and, it, and here's the thing. Here's the craziest part. That pissed him off. He talked about that. He like he he came out and apologized because we were like we 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 like bombarded every single one of his posts. And he was coming out and calling us like in in the early stages like wow you're unprofessional. And the thing that was insane to me. Is, is a year beforehand, before I ever joined Steam Club. I never thought I'd ever be a part of something like it. I, I, I was a pretty avid watcher of TK. I was a pretty big fan. I've been there since like, you know, like 10K. Um, so a year on and and I'm thinking like, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd be able to meet a YouTuber that I really liked, but it's me bullying him and him getting pissed at me. And eventually <laughs> like, it, it was insane. It was so surreal. Um, it is yeah, very strange was, to look at yeah, it, right? Was, that was that was that was the TK Mantis. And, and I remember I mean, no one ever made any like really made that many videos. And there were a few, but not not many. I remember so. the um the whole fucking time we were just scheming. Yeah, it was so old. There was so like a lot of our veterans are now gone. It's sad to see. Like a lot yeah. of them are gone now. Uh, I mean, just, yeah, yeah, but that's kind of how these things go, I guess. You know. Yeah, it's yeah, no. Like, two and a half years on. I mean, you know. Yeah. Well. You and me are fast yeah, and then still. so yeah, I think um next was uh was Schizo and I think Schizo Elijah, like, yeah. Yeah. So here we go. What happened with this? What's what's going on with Schizo oh, Elijah? Boy. Oh, so wow. basically it was already getting bad with uh after after we became friends and started merging our servers, a lot of the server blamed him, and I kind of did too, for the bans. I tried my best to keep the servers united and you know, not getting banned. But it was getting worse and worse. So one day we separated, and you know we. Have well, I mean, hey, we're guys. we're forgetting how bad it was because like, it was very was bad. Kind of, no, I have he, to admit, he it made a video bad. while keeping it while keeping hurt. while keeping the video, you know, monetizer friendly. Real quick, while trying to keep mm -hmm. it friendly, what were the kind of things that they were that were, that he was putting in the server that was getting you guys banned? It actually wasn't really Schizo's fault. It, it wasn't because it wasn't like we were posting like images of people exploding or something. It would just be like. Schizo Elijah was had had a had a certain type of fan, you know, certain certain like fan base, you know. I've seen, that would I've report seen, I've, and, and they and and some of them thought it was funny to like mass report the server and that would get it banned. So, like there was what I was gonna say was we had yeah. a server. 15 minutes after he put the video up and had a link to our our server in the description, gone. It was gone. The whole it was gone. server it's got banned. It was crazy. It was the war. It was like I was so shocked. My mouth was agape. It was insane. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. So yeah. after that, we separated and we, well, we were still together, but just, you know, we, we had guys from servers, yeah. servers. So I get a message from him. He's saying, I want you to ban these two guys from Sneak Clave right now. I'm like, why would they do? He says, they're, they're doing blah, da, 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 without really saying it. You know, he's like saying they're, they're assholes and whatever. They're massive jackasses. And then I go to them and I, I ban them quickly. And then I go to them just in case, you know, I don't want to cause any trouble. I just want to make, make it separate so i go to them and they tell me all they were doing was making fun of him because he's been pretending to be a mexican he 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 was obsessed i from what i remember it was either raul or this hoy four mod i think it was the it was, it was no mod. it was um it was it was a couple different things um, yeah it was it was this parts of iron four mod called old world blues which is like a fallout like remake of the game and yeah. in it it has like a whole rework of Mexico, and and also this is that time that whole like based trad cath meme was starting to like yeah, become yeah. a thing, and yeah. Schizo like adopted this weird like Mexican larper personality. But keep in mind beforehand, this is the guy that would post screenshots of him reading like, look at all the fascist literature that I've read. The West has fallen. Billions yeah, like, must die. It's like like, like, and, like, he's, he's, like, like the just, classic, like, the classic chud. Yeah, the classic, yeah, the classic, the la classic chud, four chud, uh, four chan, um, uh, radical, um, man has never, uh, man, man, man has um, never seen um, a woman in his entire life type stuff. Yeah, or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We hate chuds here. So, we hate, we, I race chuddies. is never cool. Well, chuds. Anyways, yeah. So I, I was confused, and I just, I'm just like F this. I'm not doing this. And then he starts hating us now. So he takes yeah, down. He, got, he, he, he did not. He did not. It was really funny because like. Um, Wank literally. I remember it. Wank was literally just like, "Dude, it's it's kind of funny." And then <laughs> that is pretty no, funny. You need to ban them. You need to ban them. And so he, this was it. That was the kicker. I mean, you know, shocker. A guy named Schizo Elijah is a little bit of a schizo. Like, you know, 
whoa, like who saw that coming? But um, it, it was it was goofy. It was it was really goofy. It's like the like I, I said I was gonna say I will I will never cease to be amazed by how the Fallout community can spawn the most retarded and useless e drama for no fucking reason. Like it's it's a talent. It is it is incredible. Yeah, I know. I from what my own videos, I'm like, wow, these guys are out of their goddamn minds. At least it keeps on, us. On fed no, 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 actually, very funny. Yeah, yeah, in, between, know, in, between, in between making the last video and recording this one, I found another rad poster. Um, uh, like place they've like, they've like, correlated. You like post one of their like, memes in the. Uh, do you do you have one like just to like put it in the in the group chat? Because I actually haven't Here, seen that many of them. I'll send one. I'll send we, one. We can send it to you. We'll send it to you afterward. It's it's just it's weird. But we no, because I just I like I I I want to know what they're like. They're like comedy bit is you know if you watch I mean? my like, videos they, I, I reference a few of them no i, I got him i got him um, you'll see yeah, you're so not gonna you're not gonna get a sub from me that easy yeah sorry i'm just i'm soliciting too hard now real quick let's just move on one more thing sneedanon sneedanon oh god the twitter oh, account. oh here we go so sneedanon reached out to me specifically and said that my video on uh my last video on the fallout community was the best com video about lore outside of like these inner circles but i got things wrong about sneakleave i got sneakleave almost completely wrong so like what like who is sneedanon to you all sneedanon is someone uh we both found uh, at different time frames yeah someone and i think we, that's uh, very politely yeah <laughs> we refer to him as like a, as like a non-spatial entity like like an evil uh, they're just goofy. Mali mal malignant, like, like <laughs> force of nature. So malevolent. I looked, so I looked at their account, right? And they keep posting these images of different discords and, and they talk about like how we post dead dogs and like, and like people, you know, horrible things, like just horrible images, which we don't do. We don't really like that kind of stuff. We don't really like the, that kind of content. Um, so it's so I'm just confused, like, oh, who the hell is this? And I try to contact them, I try to ask them questions, and they and they give me this coterie of immensely useless, retarded information about us anything, anything, right? Like just just this guy on DeviantArt goes to this guy, and then it's like this whole story about this group that I've never heard about. It is. I don't even know how to describe it. It, it sounds like yeah, it, it sounds it, like it's, a it's, it's insanity. It sounds it's, it's, like it's, a similar to the rad posters how they were co-opting y'all's name. It seems that, like the other other communities maybe. took the Sneed Claves like title. Oh, for sure. I mean, easily. Yeah. I like, hey, this is another group of people. We could just claim their title and just post shit under their. Uh, maybe. I mean, maybe. not to maybe. mention Sneed Clave was a little bit like decentralized, just a bit. Like, well, it yeah. started. It started as just a response like, to a bad. Uh, a, yeah, a bad yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But it like. Yeah, but, it, it's but here, the thing lot, is, uh, the, the thing is, this has been going on for like a year. For years, so you're for telling years, guy, if, you, if you go to this guy's Twitter, he is like, we okay. So here's the thing: we thought at first it was just like a really dedicated troll because it was like a couple months after the Frontier drama. There were still random trolls running around, but yeah. this guy has kept going for two years. He posts three times a fucking month. It's always like super long, super detailed utterly insane it's like reading the fucking like this is the shit i'd see written in blood on the walls of a padded cell this guy's fucking crazy i i can't um, believe it myself like like yeah no he's he's kind of a whack job um the other day we got added out of the blue by somebody like trying to throw us off the trail like it's so weird and, and we can we regularly forget about this guy too by the way like we have no we we but all we know is that it's not just us that he interacts with he he'll he'll like terrorize other members of like like mod teams like he has this whole vendetta against the the project ashfall like the the hawaii hawaiian oh, mod. Hawaii. oh my uh, <laughs> um, it's, um yeah no and it's it's very strange because we actually had to go to those people who he was talking to and we're like hey um do you guys have any idea about this i remember and everyone and they were just so confused about us it's just so strange it's just so strange to me <laughs> we like the yeah. only reason why we know these people that they're talking about now is because of him yeah like, and from what i understand he did uh he did interact with hold other on real quick developers. so yeah. it was interesting i'm looking at their twitter right now and it says in their own own like description it says a twitter account dedicated to speaking openly about what happens beyond closed doors check out fall into vegas the frontier 
So it seems like this might be just what, like, here's just a crackpot theory, crackpot theory. So could this be one of the developers who's scorned by you guys just trying to no. just, just completely discredit you guys? No. Sorry, not to shut that down, but we know that he's not a developer. We know, like, we've, we've like, we've talked to other devs. We talked to, um, to, to Phobos, to, uh, to a couple other, like, uh, smaller tier devs, I guess. I don't, I mean, I don't want to call them small, but, like, you know, like, not, um, I mean, Phobos is the face of the mod. But we talked to all of them. And as as far as we understand, he's just some guy that was like like that liked the mod a lot. That's kind of what we have going. He's just a very very big fan of the frontier. Yeah, we really have no idea huh. what we're dealing with yeah. here. <laughs> like it's, it's like, whole, I have no like idea. I just, weird just, ethereal this entity. Man could, this man could be like a military radio signal bouncing off a Chinese satellite. I have no fucking idea. Like it, literally, I it may, it's an enigma. So this so this is a message to all of you Fallout sleuths calling all Fallout sleuths. Can you solve the mystery of Sneak Clave Anonymous? Send <laughs> all send all five, 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 Send all <laughs> all responses to my Twitter feed, please. I need they really to, are. Please. They really are an anomaly. I'm if anyone knows, we he's been we his family's worried. Okay, real <laughs> quick. So we're we're I think that's I think that wraps up mostly uh, what we what we wanted to cover today. But do we have any other random tidbits of lore that you guys want to talk about? Any kind of like little things um, you want to add on at the end? Yeah, I'm just reading these death uh, threats these, that you uh, want to send to anybody. Just kidding. Don't do that. You can't send death threats on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I just I'm reading the rad poster memes and like, I mean, look, I know the Fallout community has a tendency to be like, um, did you just say you like the Legion because their armor is cool? Mods, like, like, but yeah, like, holy kind of shit, these I are game like, about these are like, I about, like, 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 game I'm about, I'm not going to sit here. Sorry. So I game about yeah. making choices and you're not allowed to make what some of the choices is kind of yeah. outrageous. It, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh my it's, god, do you you think a faction is interesting because it's well written? Ba bum like but like I'm reading these and I and and, and like look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, Sneaklay doesn't throw out an edgy joke or two, but like and holy sh like what is? These are awful. They're not even funny. They're like they're like not even like they're not even like good with a shock value. They don't even like say the n word. Just they just fucking boring. they blur it. They're, they're too afraid. You you're, you're making a racist joke where the joke is the n word, and then you don't even say it. What the fuck is the point then? Like it's like, just it's just schlock. It's nothing. It's literally it's just fucking nothing. It's literally like comedic like a comedic dead end. This is fucking awful. I it feels like neoconservatives finding like Zoomer here. No, this is like shit. Just, <laughs> you know, get what I mean? Your fucking game up. This shit is awful. Oh my god. Either that or come to us. We'll teach you how to be. We'll teach you how to no. fuss really good. Maybe, <laughs> actually, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, any other little bit tidbits of lore? Like anything you want to say to like people, like people that we talk about in the lore, like Sneak Clave Anonymous, Schizo Elijah, TKS. Um. TKS Mantis, I don't know about you, but uh, yeah, keep making those shorts. Really helping the channel. I, I hope. Yeah. Five thousand views, baby. We're back. Yeah, dude. Yes, What's so that like? Back. What's that like? Not even five dollars. Good job. Yeah. So, yeah. um, Skito Elijah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, fucking. I can't wait for the. I can't wait for. I can't wait for the. For the. Uh, was it Nobleman Talk Show sequel where I. Have to sit down, you two, and get to Elijah and TKS Mantis. Dude, that would be awesome. That would be, so that would be awesome. Funny. Dude, TK Mantis is going to shoot me like the Joker. Like, <laughs> that'd be awesome. That's what you fucking deserve. And she turns yeah, in the face. What he's going to do. He's, gonna, he's like, can you introduce me as Lamantis? Can, uh, fucking... can you introduce me as Fallout Jesus? And Elijah will walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skits Elijah will walk in. He has, he's like bronze tanned. He went to like a fucking tanning salon and shit. He's wearing a fucking like he's, he's wearing like an Aztec design he's, like fucking yes. Hawaiian yeah. sweater. Do you <laughs> think he's got he's got he's got the he's got the the, the or not the sweater but shirt. <laughs> Yeah. Think, yeah, I just, I just, I just, I just lean into my desk. I'm just like, do you think being yeah. cringe in the fuck community is funny? It's like I do, and I, and I'm, I'm, tired, of I'm tired of admitting it isn't. I'm tired right. of thinking. I'm tired of people thinking. <laughs> I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of black sun wheels not being considered funny. Not <laughs> being considered funny or thought provoking. No, I'm just uh. an OG piece of shit. All right. Well, that's yeah. that's it for today's talk well, show. Well, I, I do. I mean, I, I actually, um, I do have a message for TKS Mantis. But, there you um, are. It's just for it. him. I, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it in English. I would use his native tongue. Um, 
Atamana la kahayetan tawila tan wasia ditan bak alafik almaid kanata arhab alayanat ya la nasika. All right. Well, that's, that's that. <laughs> that that wraps up this ep- this episode of I guess whatever this is where I'm basically a talk show host now. So thank you guys for being on on this show. I guess whatever this is, and I really appreciate you guys coming on. All right. Shout out to Oxhorn. All Nobleman fans, please subscribe to Oxhorn. Thank you. Good to go. All right. Out. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good day. That was seriously an epic Game of Fortnite moment. I will now hit that chug jug.